Hello gamers, welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We've got some more Super Auto Pets for you today. Um, let's hop into a new weekly. Let's see what's in the pack. Okay, great. That's a tree. Trees aren't animals, they're people. Wait, I don't know, I guess. Anyway, Frill Dragon, start a battle per faint pet. Okay, we don't have any faint pets at the moment. A pigeon later could be a breadcrumb, so that's pretty exciting. Potentially, I don't know if there's any axions. I didn't see one, but I didn't really look. Let's see what can happen here. We're gonna buff the guy, we're definitely gonna sell later. I would hate to be a, an alleged fork at this point in time. Just kidding, that's our team name. I would love to be an alleged fork. Uh, okay, that did pretty good. All right, well, when all of our units have one HP, I guess we didn't expect to win. But a draw worked out well. More bluebirds, sounds great. Does everybody have one HP at all in total? It's kind of crazy. Um, let's, you know, you suddenly have two HP. There's nothing wrong with that. And a pig, well, I think we all know what a pig can do. Um, it can be sold for extra gold. That's the good news anyway. All right, let's see here Another draw not unexpected given again our team health But I like it. All right a pigeon level We get a choice between a hare, which of course copies a useful food perk from one random enemy works one times per battle or a tree If this has six or less attack gain coconut perk I've never seen this thing before. I like that though. Unless it gets so much attack from the bluebird, but then it'll have, you know, that's six attack. That's not bad. Um, let's do this too. Okay, the honey bear gives honey to the pet within one space. We know that's a pretty good one. Maybe for now we can just throw that here and this guy can get some honey just in case. Um, at some point we can sell the pigeon and two breadcrumbs gives one attack each. That's certainly something. Another pig, I don't think so. Another pigeon, definitely not. No way. Okay, well, they immediately gave attack to the tree, which isn't the worst thing. Oh my god, that's a large fish. Good thing we had that coconut armor. Thanks, Donkey Kong. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, we got the mermel, of course. When a friend levels up, gain 1-1, one, one, or excuse me, 1-2, until the end of battle. It seems awful. Maybe it's just me. Uh, we can give some trumpets with a cherry, but not on our coconut tree, which is a real thing in real life, so I wouldn't worry about it. The pig can go. Anybody back here works, basically. Uh, faint. We can, um, you know, we could faint a, a cherry onto somebody. Maybe you take this. We faint, excuse me. We faint a cherry onto the pigeon. A sense that doesn't make sense. Maybe even in this game. I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, remove five health from the first enemy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll think about it. Actually, maybe I should have sold my pigeon in for that. What is this thing? Chupacabra knockout. Give one health. To a random friend, triggers three times ever? Okay. Interesting. Well, let's get the pigeon out of here for now. We'll take the sea urchin, and then we'll give some attack. Not to the tree, because then if it gets one more bluebird buff after breadcrumb, that would be bad for the coconut armor. Um, so I guess, Jesus, I guess our toucan could do well for us. I don't really know. Bun, yep. Start a battle. Gain one health for each time you rolled this turn up to three. Rolls this turn, five. That's a lot of rolls. Um, I'll be honest, that's a lot of rolls. But what are you going to do? All right, then. Nah, it's not that great. Okay. Okay. I, I would have liked six on the tree, but obviously, you know, if we put it there with the breadcrumbs, we couldn't have, uh, you know, you know what happens. Okay. That guy already had one health, so us removing health there didn't really help out. But there goes that. Did the, um, did the trumpet, did the, the cherries work? On the start of battle. Oh, the cherries go away, don't they? Well, now who looks like an idiot? It's me. Hilarious. Okay. Here goes the, um, and we just gave this guy the, the witcher calls. This one adds attack and removes health. Not great for our tree. I'm just gonna say it straight. All right. Sea urchin I'm not in love with. I know I've got a bluebird buff recently. What are you gonna do? A kangaroo. Fred ahead. Friend? Not Fred. Friend ahead attacks, right? So we get a kangaroo here. We get the bird. We get the... Okay, here's this. We get the honey on our toucan. And then it drops the honey onto the bluebird. The bluebird attacks. The bee attacks. And then the golden retriever attacks. This kangaroo's getting buff. And half those units that are buffing it don't actually exist on our team. They're all food buffs. So everything could go terribly um, bad. Especially if somebody had a frost wolf and made our friends uh, cold. But right now, these four, they're all synergistic, and this guy's just strong on his own. 
an Easter egg, by the way. Uh, give one pet the Easter egg perk. Summon a 1-2 bunny after fainting that attacks for double damage. Um, why not just make it a 4-1 bunny at that point? I don't know. I guess so um, if it gets a buff, then the buff is also doubly strong. An attack buff anyway. Pegasus, friend summon, give three friends. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I think that's extremely exciting. This guy's just a heavy hitter, so we're going to up his attack. And I'm going to take no extra units, because they all play well together. Or at least, you know, I would hope so anyway. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we have a cold tree. I hate when that happens. Okay, we got the bees. That one's attacking with the bee. We got the retriever. There we go. And we beat their bunny into the ground, which I would never do in real life. But in-game, we actually needed that entire synergy to even have a chance at success. So there's that. Uh, garlic. We could put it on the bear, I suppose. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. For some early wins. Everybody's integral to their own success, so I can't really replace any of these great units. And then again, with all these tier 1s, I don't want to replace any of them. Let's take another bear. Call me crazy. And, okay, another tree. Another kangaroo. That'd be great if it leveled up. What are you doing, level up? Start about okay, and I have more attack to still gain the coconut perk. Okay, then you can get bluebirded all day long. For a little bit anyway. And we of course have the mandrake, which eh, you know, I don't know about that one. Okay, frost wolf. Very interesting. If we get a tree leveled up, we can add some shrimp on that tree, and things can go extremely well. And the kangaroo got more attack. That's the good news. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. They got a level two point. Six, Bunyip. That's probably not good for me. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. Okay, we're going to attack. We're going to lose. They had a lot of high-level units. Good for them, is what I can say about that. But now our kangaroo is going to be super buff. I'd love to get this cow in here. But are we buffing this kangaroo with all like 100 units we have on our team, really? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. I mean, it's cute, right? And it worked once. But maybe we can um, not do it for long. Okay, give me the tree. Cow gives some buffs. A red dragon lasts forever, right? What are we thinking here? Okay. Get rid of the bluebird. We can still do the honey. The attack, the honey, and the golden retriever. That's the good news. We get a cow. You ready for this? We buff our, um, well, you, you can take one of those for maximum attack while coconutted. And then for some reason, we could also buff our, I'm going to say kangaroo. Okay, we have exactly three gold. Uh, cans might not be bad here, because I don't know how lasting uh, this team's going to be. You know what I mean? So, cans not the worst thing, but let's for now, let's just look at some other stuff. There's a lot of trumpet stuff this week. You know what? Good for that. There's pears. I like pears. We'll, we'll, we'll save a pair of pears. We'll freeze them. Uh, start a battle. Give front most friend one experience. That's pretty good. I think your coconut would go first, so we can't like over attack you and then. Right, right, right. Okay, we'll see how it goes. You know, things if things are up in the air. It's a new week. Everybody's having a great time. I know I am. And if we lose this one, I'm gonna cry. I'm just saying it right now. Okay. They got a good looking kangaroo. What is this thing? It's. It, it died, I guess. So we did win. That's good. Really happy to see that. Okay, give me another bear. We can get a rhino going crazy. We can get a kitsune. Transfer all friendly mana plus two to the nearest friend ahead. We don't have any mana users at the moment. Um, kitsune. Okay. Bad dog doesn't use mana. This thing, it spends mana. We get nine gold per turn at level three. That's a lot of gold. It almost doubles our uh, gold. Cerberus doesn't use mana. It makes sense. He's a physical attacker, right? Okay, we could buff a rhino instead of this cow that, you know, we don't want to see it have buffs on the team. That'd be super cool. Not enough gold. I knew that. I did not know that. I wasn't paying attention to my gold, obviously. Okay, a rabbit. A little late for that. A, a rock. Give one random friend ahead plus two mana. Triggers three times. Start a battle. Three, two. Does it need to be three separate friends randomly? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe not today though. Okay, let's let's see what we can do here. There's a there's a turtle. They cracked our coconut armor with an egg. 
That's upsetting. But now we're going to kill most of their team with our excellent Rhino. So I think that's super cool. Um, let's see here. We're looking at the shop. We're thinking, here's what we're going to do. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, the Rhino, right? On the Rhino. We pair it up so it's that much stronger. That could get some garlic, honestly. Or we could destroy everything. We got a mana potion. Does that mana last forever? Like, is it six every turn? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some experimentation. But not today. Um, this, you know, the synergy with the kangaroo, it's working currently. This tree might have to go. It's not popping off like I would have loved it to do. Still doing great, don't get me wrong. The sea lion could buff our friends. But then, let's see here. If we did um, health buffs, they would have to be in back. Kangaroo wouldn't get the golden retriever. A lot of things would go potentially poorly. But I think we got to sell the tree. It's sad, but it's true. I could be wrong there. I should have done the bad dog toy that brings doom and chaos. Maybe if we free up another slot at some point. I'm sure we'll find another dog. Apparently we have one more gold. Whoops. Is there, um... Okay, garlic. There's no other real defensive thing to have unless we pill a turtle. Pills don't exist. I could kill a turtle, though, with, um... An old one, right? Or a great one, whatever it's called. The Cthulhu, son of a gun. You know who he is. Alright. Alright, they ha also have a um, Rhino, it seems. And it's killing all of our units. Just to, just kidding, just some of our units. Um, and we killed all their units. Good for them. Good for us. Better. Actually, more better for us. Um, what are you gonna do? Alright. Hey, a Rhino level up. That's super lucky. Okay, we got the Snake. It steals five damage to random enemy when somebody attacks. That'd be great to put behind a rhino. It's a little old school though. What if we had a Cerberus? Empty front space, summon one eight eight fire pup up front. Works one time. So I assume it goes up to three at level three. It's a Cerberus. Works three times. Okay, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Well, a snake would make sense um, if you want to win, I think. If we want to win, that is. And, you know, we just might want to do that. Though the Cerberus would be cool to try as a new thing. Space up front. Or we could put the Kangaroo. Okay. Check this out. Toucan, you're out of here. Sorry. Uh, we put the Kangaroo here. Screw the snake. No offense. And then empty front space. The Cerberus spawns a fire pup in front of the Kangaroo. It's another friend ahead attacks. This guy's healthy. The kangaroo could be getting 2, 3, 5, 100 buffs. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll think about it for a while. Pear. Kitsune. Okay, they're all here. The Husky's here, but half our team has food. So I wouldn't worry about that at the moment. Let's see if, we can, let's see if it works. It should work. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, they got a Rhino as well. Okay, we beat their They went the snake route, and we went the... Where'd our, where was our Cerberus? What happened to it? Did it die? Oh, did it get snaked? It has nine health. What happened? Let me, let me just double check. Sometimes I don't catch everything or anything that happens. Um, oh, it got shot there. And then again. Whatever. Whatever. It died. Turns out when things die, they don't do the thing you thought they were going to do. T Tan Grisner? Tan Grenier? What is this thing? By give future Tan Nost. Plus two attack and plus two health. I don't know um, what any of that means, actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and not uh, read about it. Sorry. Magic beans. Gain golden egg next turn. Golden egg. I think that turtle on the other team had a golden egg. It's a powerful protein <laughs> food. It's crazy stuff. We could involve somebody. This bear. I mean, he's still chilling. There's nothing wrong with that. But maybe we get rid of him soon. We get like a cow. The tree's finally back. We could get a cow, get the milk, and then evolve it. No, that replaces the, the stuff, right? So we wouldn't have it. I mean, we could still do that. It would just take, you know, some time. Roll three times freezing duplicate pets at end of turn. I mean, if you're looking for levels, the Yeti's potentially good, right? Peach of Immortality, it just gets better and better each time you buy it. That's how it works. But if we buy it no times, you know, what can you say? Okay. We could, add, well, we could put a shrimp on our guy, you know, a little more attack. Kill some more enemies. We'll see what happens. Okay. The sea lion also, it's doing some buffs, but it's not the most amazing thing. 
Okay. We can't ever... Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of frost. Okay, there's the pup. So we got another buff on the kangaroo. And things went exquisitely. Thank gosh. Okay. Wolverine. Adjacent friendly abilities deal more damage. I mean, we do have a rhino dealing damage. So, there's that. Okay, bear, thanks for all the help. I don't know if you actually did anything. Definitely should have bought this stuff before I uh, bought the cow, but oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, another rhino. It's exciting. Potentially. Think about the pair for a minute. Okay. You know, we could get a peach of immortality scaling. Our kangaroo going a little higher in stats. It's not too shabby. All right, at each turn, our Cerberus gets, wow, they have a lot of stats. At each turn, our Cerberus gets more health, you know? And then um, it doesn't get sniped as much, so I like that. Their crab is gigantic, so that, good for them. That's one giant king uh, crab, I guess. Uh, let's see here, another sea lion. A second sea lion, 10 hours later. I guess so, I mean, not the biggest fan of that purchase. But what are you gonna do? The pair, we're gonna hold on to it, see if we can get, well, Peach is a pair, currently. But after that, it's a chicken wing, right? And after that, who can know what it will be, is what I like to say. Uh, all right, and no duplicate, we could freeze a pair, or next time we could get a peach, a couple peaches. Maybe some chocolate, I don't know. That's a lot of stats redistributed. So let's see what we can do to um, win. Not much, it turns out, in this battle. Maybe we can win the next one. Okay, sea lion level. The cow here, by the way, doing nothing. You get a tiger. You get a chocolate on the rhino, for now. And then, we get another chocolate. We get another sea lion, we get another chocolate. The tiger is going to make the kangaroo go wild. It's going to have at least two triggers if the Cer Cerberus doesn't get destroyed. Um, AKA four triggers thanks to the tiger. You know, it's pretty exciting. Okay, they got a tree. Tiger's dead. That's sad. The Cerberus is dead. That's unexpected. Uh, my entire team's actually pretty dead. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to think about in this weekly. We could level the sea lion all the way with these chocolates and stuff, or we could give the rhino a, a boost. I don't know. I guess all the health everywhere helps, considering there's snakes. There's, not this snake, there's other stuff. And of course, there's enemies. So if we all had a bit more health, Maybe we live, maybe we do the thing we wanted to do. What did you just do to that guy? We just gave him 95 mana. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We're gonna live. Uh, oh, never mind. That was a lot of stats. Good for you. All right, it seems I need to re-evaluate my strategy. No problem, hey, I have it some pigs. That's a pretty good start. And a fish. Wouldn't have it any other way. Underwater scallywags? <laughs> Where else could they be? Above water? I don't think so. Alright, that's a lot of birds, but it's a nice draw there. Uh, we know draws are likely in the early game, or at least they used to be. We could roll a bit and get this bunyip going wild. I don't think I want to, though. I'll just be honest. Okay, take a honey on a pig. That's a fish. But what are you going to do? I'm still learning my animals, you know? I'm working on my flashcards. Um, I'm still identifying them, honestly. So appreciate all the support in that endeavor. Thank you. Okay, a pig leveling up. We get a camel. A camel can do things like buff the unit behind it. So there's that. This toucan, we could, you know, we could go toucan honey on the other fish. Doesn't make any sense right now. And that's why I thought it was the best thing we could do at the moment. Experience. Maybe we give, give some experience to a camel in the front. It's like a 1-1 one, one buff on top of the experience, right? So that's pretty good. Okay, now our pig kills their two bunyips. And then we killed their uh, potted plant. Or whatever that thing was. Baby Groot. I don't even know. Uh, we can do this. We can do this, but then that kind of defeats the toucan's uh, purpose. So I think that's pretty cool. I guess we could switch these, but then the... Who cares? Whatever. Hey, a fish. Um, we'll save that for next time. If 
for now. Give me a give me a cherry on that son of a gun. You know what I'm saying? Just to spend our money wisely. Rolling may have helped, but we weren't going to find any more camels because they're not up until, uh, well, they'll be there in the next shop, if you know what I'm saying. All right, you're going to summon a dude. He's going to have the, the guy. We got plenty of people left. They got cherry, they got honey. They're making an exquisite dish, I'm sure. Okay, don't buff the pig. You know what? That sucks. Okay, the Doberman's back. Um, lowest tier pet. There were a lot of good high tier pets. We were getting uh, screwed over by them uh, a lot in the in the last match. The Warthog was pretty good. And probably all the other ones, uh, actually. Uh, we could level Toucan. Okay. We get a Llama going. If we had, you know, a few less friends. The Pig... It's not even our second best unit, it's our best unit. But it's gotta get out of here, because where does it go from here? Almost nowhere. Okay. The fish has to go too. That's just how it goes. Okay, we get a llama. Ready for this? Um, uh, let me think about it. I guess I should have thought about it before I sold half the team. But what are you gonna do? Um, okay, a bunny. On your llama. So they say we have four people in our squad. I think we have like 10. Look at all the things we have that summon things. Sure, some of them are bees or bunnies or whatever. But they're my best friends, so I would never trade them for anything. Oh, we should sell this? No, I don't know. Uh, Jesus. I don't know if this camel's going to be here for a while, but the garlic can only help. Unless it can't. Depends if they start with a winter fox or whatever. Okay, that guy's got a lot of flipping health. Luckily, we uh, we killed him. A little bit. Hey, that crab has a lot of health, too. Maybe we should get a lot of health and take a crab. Or maybe not. Knockout. Give one health to random friend. Maybe. Okay. Toucan, you're not... This isn't it. This isn't your game. I'm sorry. You gotta get out of here. Okay. Give you a little more attack, just to make you a little more of a competitive opponent. The camel plus the um, Ogo Pogo experience It's gonna be level 2. I'd call that pretty good. Uh, or it could be level 2 all on its own. And we can get rid of the Ogo Pogo. We could do Camel Kangaroo. That's classic. We're not going to do that right now. Though. Okay. That's a big fish. And they got a camel. So that's rude. But we did kill it. Unfortunately, they had some other um, animals on their team. And I would have never thought to do that, obviously. Since I lost some easily. Okay. Well, our llama's leveling up. That's good. Eventually. Not right now. Our camel's leveling up right now. Give future. Is this thing. Does it like spawn that in the shop after that or something? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the lore on this, I'll assume, fake animal. Okay. The cow. We get some llama buffs. We can't add anything to the team, but that's okay, right? We know we're not adding to the team. We're, we want four for the llama. And one good animal would be good too. But we didn't get any of that. So I really can't. You know? Okay. The toucan can go though. The ogopogo can go. We're just looking for some good replacements. Basically. Okay. Why does our camel have such awful stats? I don't know. It's a great question. Alright. We, um, we actually won a round. Is there a bug in the game? What happened? That was weird. All right, I'm happy to do it though. We're gonna level you immediately. We're gonna get a bad dog to bring doom and chaos. What do you think? Okay, Pandora's box, start of battle. We have all pets, random perks and ailments. Empty front space, summon one six, six old one in battle that deals six damage to all other pets. We could hurt their pets or our pets or all, or all of them, I guess. Hey, we got the camel. It can get hurt, and then it can give a trigger. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I don't know who we get rid of between these three. Because we could level up the dog. Maybe get a better old one at some point. Potentially. You get an experience. We didn't see any other bathtub guys. But we're not taking a toucan. Let me roll and, and see what we have to look at. Another llama. And why not, right? Why not? Okay. And you got the... You're giving us the dog. It, it may have been the reason we won last time. 
but we have to lean on other things. All of you die to the to the six damage, I'll be honest. So I guess we'll sell a dog and not take a super cool, highly leveled dog yet. Anyway, maybe in the future. Another Rogopoco. I can't really guarantee your safety, pal. So there is that. Let's see what this can do. And we start with the front space, right? I hope. Because I want the um, the old one to hurt our camel. That way it gives two buffs to the llama. That's what I'm hoping for. If it doesn't work like that, you know, that's the price of learning. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, he killed their entire team. Besides one B. I'd call that pretty good. I didn't expect the other team to have just six health. But I just wanted two procs on my camel. And you know what? To the victor goes the camel. Um, we got a husky. It buffs people without holding food. We're all holding food, so I don't really have a good reason to buy a husky right now. Let's all be honest with each other. Okay. Shrimp. There's a shrimp. That is so true. Okay, cherry. Looking for... What is this thing? Be honest with me. I don't even know. We need a good looking... A crab would have a lot of health now, thanks to our llama. Okay. Stop showing up in the shop. Before I... You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm looking for. We rolled four times. We didn't see anything amazing. A red dragon would have been viable. It hurts their team. Right? Another dog would have been... Eh, freezable. We still got the book. So I wouldn't want to mess it up. We're looking for something. I don't know what yet. So I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. How many huskies are they going to show me? Be honest. Okay, a panther. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. A camel. Thank God. Okay, I don't think we did a single thing. I think we rolled, um... I think we rolled a lot. I don't even know if I want another camel. I just passed a red dragon, didn't I? You know what? How about the guy comes and kills their entire team again? I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, it's gonna do pretty good. You did take one of these weirdos, so why'd you do that is my main question. But hey, look at our llama. They killed the rest of the team. That was the plan the whole time. So I didn't need to buy anything in the last... Hey, a dog. Okay. I'll take another book. That'll be fun, potentially. One of you, one of you. No, no camel, that's for sure. Why would I want a camel? Friend summon. I'm not summoning anybody. Don't start with me. Hmm. What? What do you have an Easter egg? We gotta get you some garlic. A cow could do some good things. Right now we're going book, llama, strat. And if you don't know that strat, I'm sorry. You know? We just killed their husky for free and their panther, for God's sake. Let's see what we can do. We had like triple the stats of their rhino. I can't believe people are using rhinos in this day and age. Am I right? Okay. Get you some of this. Give me a cow. We could feed our camel. It is looking awfully sad right now. In fact, most of the team is. But what if we didn't do that? And we had one awesome unit instead. Um. Okay. A tiger. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. This guy keeps showing up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I hate him. Just being honest. Okay. We're going to need another bad dog, or whatever it's called. Evil dog. We're going to need another evil dog in the next shop. Okay, but here's the good news. We just killed their tiger, their husky, and their hope. Am I right? They even had one of those stat distributed warthogs, or whatever the heck it is. I bet they didn't think their golden retriever was going to show up in front of their snake. But even with that extra snipe, we kicked their ass. Sorry for the harsh language, YouTube. Uh, please don't uh, ban my channel. Okay. If you say so. We could just summon one of the guys, but that's not why we take him, right? That's not why we take him. A Yeti? I mean, in this day and age, for camel duplications, that sounds good. Cerberus? Empty front space. What do we had a book? And a Cerberus. Not that we have a book, but it would solve our llama missing fifth spot easily and potentially efficiently. Let's think about it. Okay. All right, then. Well, uh, Yeti there, what do you think? They didn't freeze anything. We didn't see any duplicates. They have a large camel. We are going to uh, buff their uh, rhino a bit, it seems. Yep. 
All we needed was that uh, evil dog book, and everything would have been great, in my opinion. Okay, well now Cerberus has two heads, which are better than one. Could have a mammoth, instead of this yeti doing uh, nothing. Let me think about it. Hmm. Got this guy. You're out of here. Camel looking pretty sad right now, honestly. Pretty low stats, I'll just say it. And our Lamba's max health, so... There is that. Let's see how many, um, okay. Well... We got a tiger kangaroo in the front, and we got some dog heads. Honestly, we almost managed it. I'm so, if we didn't power up their kangaroo so much with the dog heads, that would have been great. I guess we don't need the exact empty... I, we don't need the exact front empty right now, because the book's not there. So it doesn't happen in the exact immediate start. You know what I'm saying? So we can do that. Which And you have less attack than the dog heads, actually. So what the... What are we doing with our lives? This game has me suddenly asking. And I try not to think about that, because then I just get sad. Uh, a cow, or we could buy a pear. And a cow is, of course, better than a pear. And you get your old back. Isn't that nice? Okay, you might survive one hit that isn't from our own booked old one. But only maybe. This thing should work for your career. So if you play like 100 games and you buy one per game, the next one you buy... It's a 100-100 peach. I think that would be hilarious. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. We're getting more attack on our llama. It's going to be important. Their uh, sick, weird blue dog is looking pretty rough. They keep sniping my camel. Please. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Never mind. They have dogs, too. Okay. Well, turns out I'm not good at this weekly. I'm going to have to do some investigation. And by that, I, of course, mean... Do nothing. And then record a video again of me losing tomorrow. But that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And farewell.